the rests of a musical instrument, a lira, lira components there, and a flute. I want to make one of those. That's pretty cool. Some of the other pieces, and it looks like a board game, a nefetafid. years ago they had a wood lathe like the one you see here in this picture and they made all these fantastic well these are just uh, fragments of components that were left from the time but it's still pretty interesting to see these things were all turned on the wood lathe fascinating A dagger or possibly a small sword and uh, some of the artifacts that the were found here the detail on these is incredible and then you just have to look at this and see that looks like a wolf or a bear That. That's something I haven't seen before. A comb. Completely out of bronze. That's pretty cool. Here's the typical ones made out of uh, antler that we all know. Really interesting to see is that uh, Viking Age lock system. That's the inside of a lock. That's the key. Viking Age sword, look at that. A gold inlay. Glare is terrible here. Here's something really cool. The mask of a berserker, or probably maybe something that uh, the children played with. Not really sure what it is, but it uh, was a find here, and I think it's really cool. <laughs> question mark. How is this question mark? Oh, look at the Viking swords. Here's something really neat. This is the uh, knife honing stones made from slate. That's really awesome. And I actually found a piece, the uh, raw material. Really awesome. The ocean. Yeah. I'm standing here in front of the actual part of the museum where it has the buildings. I think is uh, one of the most coolest parts because I was trying to do some filming earlier in the museum itself and the uh, staff at the museum kind of did not appreciate that so I had to kind of film very selectively. But here you can see some of the historical pictures of the excavations where they excavated the city in the... Oh, it doesn't say here. Uh, yeah, let me see. Hmm, I have to find out. Hmm. So here we have a really cool building. <clears throat> I really like how this is uh, very similar to the old buildings of uh, Germany in the, in the late 1800s. Kind of reminds me of uh, my blacksmith shop build that's still not finished back home. I'm inside the actual 
museum for the building. I was very inspired by this building here the first time I was here. Some of the inspiration here I get for the smoke and the sparks. If you look at this, they have no vents in the roof for the smoke. Very weird. So I'm going to try that out for my forge. I'm going to try out something like this to catch the sparks and the smoke. I'm going to make myself a frame similar to this one. I'm going to hang it above. Actually, I'm going to try this for the Viking roundhouse. That's what I'm going to try this, this design for. Is that like the fire inside there? They're really cool. One of my absolute favorites, the, the Viking chest, the sea chest. I really, really have a fable for those. Some of you might know. I have something new. Last time I was here, this seemed, I think this was the fish. They had fish hanging up in here. And now they have something else exhibited in here on display. It's a nice box. And I really dig these hanging shelves. I really am a fan of that. I have to figure out how they made those. It's two hanging flat boards. And uh, that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to add that to my Viking cabin. We have someone making some shoes here. Typical Hedby workshop, and I really dig the little, the little works, the little fire pit right here. So one of my favorite things to make, an Oseberg lantern style, an Oseberg style lantern. Having the three prongs versus the two that are commonly displayed. It's kind of dark in here, it's hard to see. And that's only about a meter tall. This beeswax, like I, I like to use. Very nice. What I really find fascinating is the interesting style of how this door is supported. The hinges for this door. Completely made out of wood. No nails. The throne of the Yal. I'm going to sit in it and see if anybody wants to take a picture. Look at this tree. This is a Heinbuche. Um, English translation. I don't know, I have to look it up. It's a beech tree of some sort. But this one here, they say this one's about a thousand years old. They don't know exactly. They say it's about 1,000 years old. So, I just finished walking through there. And I must have talked to about three dozen people in that museum. I thought I was one of the actual reenactors that were uh, living there for the weekend. Which was really interesting. I didn't get to do much of my own walk around I was constantly talking to people which was cool because it was mostly a bunch of old folks that were really interested and then we got into some real conversation and it was very very much fun I must say I can't tell you how much I enjoy standing here watching the sunset So I guess this is the end of my little excursion. Like all things, at one point, they almost come to an end. And I'm just sitting here, enjoying it the last minute. High Taboo Shore. Shores of Hedeby. Look at that, that's beautiful. Ah, sinking in slowly that I am, uh, it takes me a couple days to realize that I'm not home. And then it's like, wow. And then it hits me that, uh, I'd really like to go back. <laughs> That's kind of weird. And so, like all the good things, at one point, 
they must come to an end. I hate to leave this place, but I'd like to be home tomorrow, at least closer to home. I'd like to relax at home, do some work on my, looking at all those beautiful things that the, uh, the museum really wanted me to go home and finish my forge. But I, I must say this did, this journey did me very well. It's been uh, very nice to breathe the salt water air in the ocean. And it's kind of, I, oh, my metal detector, the battery didn't work. I had it on charge the whole way up here. I guess it wasn't plugged in right. So no metal detecting on the beach. And I left my, my gold pan at home, which I was going to see if I could wash out some, some amber or some, see what kind of gold we got up here, but uh, that's all the more reason, I guess, to come back. Yeah, so. That's all the more reason. To, and it's kind of sad I can't bring Vanessa with me. I really had to think a lot as well about how much I would have liked to have uh, you know, both my dogs, but you know, that's just uh, no longer possible. One of them had to go on his journey. And now we had, I had lots of fun with Pooh Bear. We went uh, for a nice hour walk last night along the beach. They have a dog beach. I don't know if it was the dog beach. I really didn't care. I wanted Pooh Bear to have some fun. He was running in the sand, jumping. He didn't know what to do. I'm just looking for the last, the last little bit of flint that I want to take home with me here. This, oh, this, uh, shore is full of flint. Some of it's really nice. If I can uh, do a little bit of digging, I can usually find a nice big piece that's not all weathered away. But the big pieces are cool because I can break them up into lots of little pieces so when I make them flint steel kits. Ah, just letting it sink in. It's like reality check. You're going home. This is, you know, wow, I was here. I really like to go home now. I think I've seen what I wanted to see, done what I wanted to do. Met a lot of interesting people on the way here. That was quite an experience as well. I'm not usually very sociable. Like I try to stay away from people. But uh, I guess at this time was the other time, other way around. People were coming up making conversation with me. So that's kind of weird. Okay, everybody. I'd like to thank everybody for being part of this awesome community. The Berserker Gang 2019 community here. It's been a rough, rough three years so far, and it's been a lot of joy, a lot of struggles, a lot of hardships. But that's part of life, and I'm glad to have a great community to follow along. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, it's kind of like a nose. Take that home. Yeah, I'm glad to have you guys along for the journey. Because, uh, it's like a you know, it makes no sense for me to do all this if, uh, if it means nothing to nobody. So, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, it would help out the channel greatly if you click the subscribe button, ring the bell, and click all notifications. That way YouTube will know you want to see more of my videos. And you'll get notified every time I post new content. Stay safe, everybody. See you soon.